Now at 4.30, we are a little over a week before early voting starts in Virginia. We're already at that We're point, there. Huh? The biggest issues dominating campaigns are abortion, education, and crime. In Virginia, it's split on who controls the House and Senate. We're seeing more candidates fired up, and our Matthew Torres joins us with what we can expect. Hey, Leslie and Lorenzo. In Virginia, the GOP and Democrats are seizing on two different issues. For Republicans, parental rights in schools is a big topic, and for Democrats, it's abortion access. Let's start there. The Commonwealth doesn't have abortion laws as restrictive as states in the South, but this week, Governor Glenn Youngkin says he still wants to pass a 15 week ban with some exceptions. And to do so, he needs to flip the Senate red. And I believe a place we can come together as Virginians is around a bill that, that recognizes that a child can feel pain at 15 weeks and that we can protect life at 15 weeks. But will the topic of abortion give Democrats that edge? One professor tells me it would still be considered a political malpractice not to focus on it, especially in districts that have been redrawn, helping incorporate more Democratic voters. As Youngkin fights to gain control of the Senate, he's been hosting Parents Matter town halls throughout the Commonwealth. How kids are being taught and what parents should know are issues that helped his own campaign in 2021. But with how divided voters already are, political science professor Dr. Stephen Farnsworth says candidates are focused on energizing them. It's uh, an area, a time when there isn't likely to be a lot of turnout. And so the idea of really creating a fearful environment uh, is going to be the strategy that both parties are going to be using throughout the fall. Early voting starts September 22nd. Coming up at 6, we will focus on how these issues are playing a role in a highly competitive race heating up in Northern Virginia. Guys. Yeah, this is a crucial election for sure. Like you said, Republicans want to keep control of the House and they desperately want the Senate. Matthew, thank you.